you have to be intentional. You have to be very intentional in what you want, who you want to be, how you want to be, how you want the world to receive you. Hey my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I just really wanted to talk about femininity, how you can begin your feminine journey and channel feminine energy. How can you grow into the woman you want to be? How can you become the person you've always wanted to be but you might have not known how to go about it or where to begin? All right, so I feel like the first and foremost, most important thing that you need to do is think about yourself, reflect. Reflect on the type of person you want to be. How do you want the world to receive you? How do you want people to receive you? What type of impact do you want to have on this world? What type of life do you want for yourself? Also just monitor your thoughts. Are they positive and good thoughts or are they negative and sad and depressing thoughts? Really understanding things that happen in your mind how you view things, how how do you go about things and just starting to think about ways in which you can better yourself so that you don't have these thoughts no more or so that you can start planning your life and thinking about the things that you want to do or thinking about the type of life that you want. I think focusing on your mental health first is the most important thing because your mind is powerful and trauma and hurt that happens to you mentally doesn't ever fully doesn't ever go away that that is always there and you have to learn ways in which to cope and ways to overcome so really spend time just thinking about that thinking about what you want and why are you doing this what is your purpose try and figure that out first the second thing that you want to do is focus on taking care of your body. Starting a self-care routine. Having a morning routine. I have a morning routine. I shower, I do my skincare and really just taking your time as well. Taking your time to do these things. Don't just rush and do them. Don't just throw on anything on your face or rub anything on your body really taking time to massage in these creams taking time to think about you know oh i've got a pimple how am i going to deal with that just really taking care of yourself have a nighttime routine as well same thing where you can unwind where you can relax you've had a, a stressful day or maybe you've had a productive day but the nighttime is for you to just relax to unwind to just chill out so you want to have a nighttime routine that just really helps promote that relaxation and just allows you to get into a space of feeling at peace. The next thing that you want to focus on is looking good every day. I can't tell you how much of a difference it made when I started to take more care and take pride in the way I looked even on the days that I was just sitting at home and I wasn't doing anything you just getting up and doing your makeup and putting on decent clothes don't just put on anything have a cute have a cute loungewear set that you wear inside of the house to make you feel good but just getting up and sometimes just just doing my makeup I don't have nowhere to go we are in lockdown but just making sure that I put myself together you feel more together because if you're just laying there hair's a mess and you're just there and you're feeling down and you're slouching and you're not really you're just you're not really caring then you that will affect the way you feel about yourself the way you, the thoughts that are going to come into your mind that day that these are all things that you need to be mindful of if you're someone who doesn't necessarily like to wear makeup then making sure that you always have your hair put together your hair can make such a massive difference in your face just by pulling your hair up into a bun can just lift up your face and give you almost an instant facelift. So it's just being mindful about the way you carry yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. And another thing linked to that is being mindful how you leave the house. Don't just up and go in anything take pride every time you leave your house take pride in how other people are going to receive you because you don't know who you're going to meet today you don't know just by going to the supermarket you might meet the love of your life 
Do you want him seeing you looking all raggedy in an old t-shirt? No, you want to be put together. You don't have to look glamorous, but just, you know, be put together and that person will receive you like, okay, this person takes pride in their appearance. They take pride in themselves because that's what people are going to get from that. The next thing that is really important, and this also links back to taking care of your mental health, is seeking therapy. If you feel as though you have certain scars within you, you have gone through things, you've gone through difficult times in your life, you've gone through abuse or anything really, sometimes just sitting down with a therapist a professional sit down with someone who's a professional and just talking to them and them helping you to heal is so powerful you don't even realize like i know i didn't realize that in some of my relationships certain scars or certain traumas i was bringing that into this relationship and what happened was it was affecting the type of woman i was it was affecting the type of person i was and trauma will affect how you are on a day-to-day -day basis so you just really want to seek help and if you're maybe not ready to seek help i think the next best thing is reading books for me i started to read loads of books loads of motivational books loads of self-help books even just normal novels are just nice to read reading also builds your knowledge it empowers you it builds your vocabulary and it allows you to be able to sit down with people and talk I mean, oh i read this in a book or oh did you know blah 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 because you read it somewhere reading builds your knowledge and it just builds you as a person so if you don't feel like you're comfortable or you're in a place where you want to go counseling that's perfectly fine read books watch youtube videos there are so many youtubers on here who talk about empowerment and growth and there's motivational speaking and motivational videos there's videos if you want to watch affirmations or listen to affirmations there are so much videos online podcasts are also very great as well if you just want a different perspective i would say listen to podcasts as well i really got into podcasts last year sometimes i feel like music blurs into one and it just kind of got over listening to music all the time and now i try to listen to podcasts like when i'm cooking or when i'm showering or when i'm doing my hair or today's my hair day and i know i'm going to be doing that all day let me listen to a podcast so that's another way that you can also just build your knowledge and also to just help you and encourage you this one here is also really important this point is so so important you need to make a space or create a space that is your place of peace whether it's your bedroom and when you step into your room you can just relax because you have to remember when you go outside in the outside world there's so much happening and everyone's on the go and it's so fast paced you want to create a space or you want to walk into your room and feel at peace you want to just sink into your bed in your favorite pajamas and turn on the tv and watch netflix and feel good so having candles and diffusers and you know all of these things are really powerful and important to just make you feel good if you don't have a room to yourself or maybe you share your room with a sibling or someone else the next best thing is to create a corner a space it could be the bathroom and that's your space it could be a vanity table you just have your vanity table and when you sit at your vanity table this is your time to unwind this is your time to just relax and to process everything and to think about everything and just to feel good about yourself i feel like there's nothing more important than the space that you're in your own space you want your space to be clean you want it to be light you want it to be airy you want to make sure you have habits such as spreading your bed every morning because you don't want to come into a messy bed you don't know you might have a guest you don't want that person coming into your room and your room's a mess that is just not the way forward so just creating that space where you can just relax and unwind and feel good about yourself is super important the next thing is to find a passion find a hobby find something to do that will allow you to be creative because feminine energy is creative we are caring we are doers and we create and you want to find a passion whether it's cooking going to the gym fitness 
your health. It could be art, painting, you could start painting, it could be puzzles, it could even be dancing. Find a way to express yourself, Something. find a hobby that is going to allow you to be expressive, to create and to just kind of allow you to be playful. Being creative really allows you to tap into your feminine energy, so you really want to try find something that will allow you to be creative and who knows this thing could turn into a career it can turn into a job whether it's doing nails painting hair cooking um, blogging anything this could be something that turns into more than just a hobby as a feminine woman you want to be playful you want to be someone who just laughs and who is free and you don't want to overthink one of the habits that you should stop doing is overthinking stop getting into your mind live in the now stop worrying about the future and what could be and what can happen and worry about now worry about who do you want to be now worry worry about the building now worry about about finding yourself now and enjoy the process enjoy just laughing if you want to laugh and going out with friends and meeting up with friends and having a good time and having girl time just be playful smile more smiling is so important as a feminine woman you want to be someone who when people see you they look at you, you have a warm smile on your face a smile is so welcoming you want to welcome people to you you want people to receive you at like like a feather light as a feather just happy and graceful and just at peace that's how you want to be and to be like that you have to just tap into what's inside of you and let go of worrying let go of all the things that are outside of your control and just worry about what are the things that are in your control what how can you be how can you just be light and at peace as much as you want to be playful and welcoming and you want to be someone who attracts people to to you and be able to hold a conversation you want to also keep a sense of mystery i feel as though every feminine woman i've come into contact with they're very mysterious they're very mysterious and when they walk into a room they are the center of attention but not because they're wearing this short dress or they're doing the most or they're the loudest in the room but just because of the way they carry themselves they carry themselves so with so much grace and so much elegance and so much confidence other people can see that other people will receive that when you channel that when you decide that you want to let go of worrying and let go of anything negative and just walk in the light of positivity and walk in the light of your feminine energy you will start to realize that you have this sense of mystery to you when you decide that you're not going to be a chatty patty and just be blah, 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 a motor mouth all the time you're going to talk to people you're going to engage with people but you're not going to overshare you don't want to overshare feminine women never overshare they listen they understand and that brings me on to my next point having a goal and having a dream as a feminine woman you want to have your own you want to have something that is yours you want to build something for yourself you want to be able to think about how am i going to be able to fend for myself and be happy and live the life that i want and buy the things that you want i think it's really important to think about your career or what you want to do or the things that you want to try and achieve and don't get me wrong if you want to be someone who is a caretaker of the family and take care of the family and be a homemaker that is also perfectly fine if you just want to focus on being a good wife or a good partner to the person you're with that's okay because that takes a lot out of you it is not easy to juggle 101 things that comes with having a family and if that is what you decide that you want to do that's okay if you decide as well that you want to have a career and you want to go after that then go after it go after it because as a feminine woman you want to be able to walk into a room and hold your own you want people to receive you in a way that when they talk to you they're like okay this person knows what they're talking about this person knows their stuff so you want to make sure that you you're up to date that you know how to talk to people and you know how to engage and you you can hold your own you can hold a conversation the next thing is your tone of voice the way you speak to people you have to lower your tone feminine women are not aggressive they're not loud they're not rude they don't swear they speak well they have good mannerisms 
they don't swear or they don't put their hands up in people's face they don't get aggressive they're very gentle and very calm and very patient and you want to be that you want to make sure that you're not just this loud person and when you're talking everyone can hear your conversation you want to be mindful of your tone be very mindful of your tone and be mindful of the words that come out of your mouth as well and the final thing you want to be mindful about is the way you dress because the first thing people do is they see with their eyes. So when you meet someone, you see them before you speak to them. And how a person is dressed, how they carry themselves, the way they walk, their makeup, their hair, the outfit they're wearing is so important in setting a good tone, in, in making sure that people receive you in a positive way. If you walk in somewhere and you're loud and you, you're dressed like a hood rat, then people are going to receive you like that. But if you walk in somewhere with your head held, held high and you walk in with confidence and you're dressed well, you're put together, people will receive you in a positive way. And then once they talk to you and now they realise that, okay, wow, this person knows what they're talking about. They talk in a calm and relaxing tone where other people feel like they can engage with you, you're smiling and you're happy, people will receive you very well. So just be mindful of the type of clothes that you wear, the colours that you wear, make sure you're wearing things that complement your skin tone, things that are not too loud. Because as a feminine woman, your energy, just your energy, the allure, that alone will draw people to you. You don't need to be loud. You don't need to be loud in the way you speak, the way you dress or any of that. So these are all areas in which you need to start being mindful of. These are the areas that I started to be mindful of and I made changes in these areas. This was about last year because this is when I began this journey and it has changed my life it has changed who i am and the way i look at things and then i'm just going to quickly throw one in there as well you need to be mindful of the company you keep who are the people that are around you what are these people saying how do they carry themselves because you are the friends you keep people will judge you from your circle of friends and you can't say oh but my friends are like this but i'm different no you are all one birds of a feather flock together that's the saying so be mindful of the people you have around you because they will also either help you on this journey keep you stagnant or bring you down or more times they might just bring you down and be mindful of your social media. What are you consuming? Who are the people that you're following? Are you following gossip sites? Are you following all these girls with BBLs and these ratchet girls and these girls are doing the most? And there's nothing wrong with girls like that or if that's what you want to do. But if you're trying to be someone who walks more in your feminine energy, you want to follow people who inspire you and people who encourage you and people who also live the life you want to live people who are doing the things that you want to do people who are just going to inspire you and empower you to become the woman that you are trying to be so those are the areas i think that are really important for you to start being mindful in and the areas in which you should start working on and just developing yourself in and i think once you start working on each of those areas you will see such a major difference in your life. Some people will fall out of your life and that is okay. New people will start coming into your life. People will start receiving you differently. You will start to feel different about yourself and you will start to just embrace who you are more at the end of the day, the goal is to fully love yourself and to be fully happy with the woman that you are, with the life that you have. You wanna create the life that you want. And that's not just gonna happen. You have to make changes. You have to be intentional. You have to be very intentional in what you want, who you wanna be, how you wanna be, how you want the world to receive you. If you just go on willy-nilly, then willy-nilly things will happen. But if you are intentional, you will start to attract things that you want into your life i really hope that you guys found this video useful and you learned something from this if you are on this walk of femininity and you're trying to embrace your feminine energy you're trying to grow and become the woman you want to be then welcome come along come join the tash family and become a part of this community of women who are trying to empower each other and uplift each other please don't forget to hit the subscription button down below so you are always informed when i have a video and on to my next video i will see you lovely ladies then so bye